backs up and those that keep their phone face down. Well, choosing an option phone is basically you declaring that you're part of the down phone. This is designed so that when you're out at dinner, for example, you flip the phone over, which can activate do not disturb mode, by the way, so nothing's ringing. And you can rest easy knowing that anything important, you'll still see it, and all the rest of the notifications, well, you can get to them later. That concept, in my mind, is beautiful. And something introduced in the last generation, which takes it a little further, is that one of those lists is also a timer. So if you set a stopwatch, for example, you can see the progress, and if you order an Uber, you can see how long your pickup. So all of this sounds amazing. What's wrong with it? Well, while I do like the idea of looking at the back of your phone for a notification, you're losing most of the information that accompanies that notification. So for example, if you're using this to time your Uber, at some point close to pickup, you're going to need to see the number plate of the driver who's picking you up. So you are at some point going to have to turn your phone over and enter the app anyway. Or like with emails, for example, even though it's very thoughtful of them that you can set certain inboxes as priority, the problem is that within any given inbox, there's still going to be vast amounts of variance between the level of importance of each email that an LED on the back just can't distinguish between. I mean, just an example of the last few months, my emails have ranged from would you like to tip